Hello everyone, my name is Sadi Chauhan and today I'm going to show you how to create a powerful template of PlanServe for steel reinforcement calculation. In previous videos, I have shown you how to measure the quantities for steel reinforcement by creating few templates. Two examples are already available on my channel for the footing and for the column. And today we're going to focus on slab steel reinforcement calculation. It's very easy by having a template of plan swift. There are many ways. I'm going to focus on one way by giving basic example. Okay, you can see here I have the drawing and detail about slab. We want to know the total rod in kgs. So basically we want to know how many rods are here on horizontal and vertically both. So this is how a common rod mesh type looks like. So we want to know basically how many rods are on horizontal, vertical, on the top, at the bottom, what is the slab thickness, what is the rod size, what is center to center. We have to consider all and we need to calculate the total steel. I will not go in detail what is the concept of steel calculation. You can check the detail on my channel, it's episode number 14. In this video, I will focus only on the template, how one quick template can get you the complete detail. So let me give you the idea. So I have the details here and the template. I just need to activate and provide the detail. Steel per slab, what is the dia, bar weight, center to center, if it's top and bottom both we can type. What is the longer side, I can type here 11.042 and what is the shorter side, 7.295. Once I have given all the detail, you will see. Just one click, software will show you in this drawing, the total steel is 1924 kg. Of course, if you go in tons, it's 1.924. But this is the concept. One click and you got the total. How to create such template? It can save a lot of time. So this is what we're gonna focus now. Step by step, I will show you all the instructions. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's see how to create it. Click on a template. These are the templates which I have created. Of course, you're not gonna see it. Click here new tab, give a name test. So let's simply create a new template, give a name steel slab press ok. Now template is created. What exactly we want inside? We can right click property advanced. Here we have to play by adding few properties. You are following my videos previously, so you know the concept. We have to add few properties. What is the reason behind? You will know. Just simply create the property. So the first one is dia. Okay. And here we have to keep the group in estimating. Fine. Now the next one is bar weight. Press OK. Another one. Top and bottom is about the mesh. Either it's on the top only or at the bottom also. So accordingly we can play. Another one, long bar quantity, short bar quantity, center to center, long side. These names you can adjust according to your need. Name doesn't matter, main is the concept here that you need to follow. So uh, we have added all the properties. I prefer to press OK. So at least whatever we have done, it's saved. Now again, right click in property, advanced. We have to adjust this all, fine. So firstly, we have to adjust the units. For the dia, it's mm. Bar weight is in kg. It's each number. Long bar quantity, it's a number. Here, it's a number. Center to center, it's a meter. Short side, it's in a meter. If you're following feet and inches, you can choose the units accordingly. This is just for your concept only. We have adjusted these units. Press OK to save again. Right click property, advance. Fine. Few things. If we know the dia are limited, so we can double click and define the dia size. Let's say 0, 8, 10, 12, 16 press ok next time software will give us this option it will be easy for us to choose this is one and bar weight we know according to the dia size the bar weight we can mention here 3.95 then for the 10 is 0 0.617 for the 12 it's 0 point and for the 16 1.58 press ok 
and the next time software will give us this option and accordingly we can choose it as well and here only on the top we can keep it one and if it's top and bottom both we can keep it two so this value will also help us fine short side and long side these two numbers we have to type according to the plan what is the length of the short side and what is the length of a long side center to center we can type here also or even later doesn't matter these two are the formula so we have to play with the formula but before let's just adjust the view so we need software to ask us the name it's already being asked you can see here the name but few more things we want software to ask us the short side and long side okay i have checked these two then center to center then top and bottom bar width dia these all things i want software to ask me i have checked it's up here now before we proceed further as you know already i prefer to adjust the layout i can click here form layout and we can adjust on the top it's a name then the dia the shape we can move at the bottom then the bar weight these two i want software to ask me the units as well you can see the units are being asked i want both these properties to be in the same row here it is then center to center i can bring it on the top then top and bottom both i want in the same row here you can see it and i prefer to see the units for center to center here it is short side and then the long side both of these properties i want to see the units i have checked and in the same row you can see here this is the view i want to have it once i'm done press ok so you can see here only the things that we really want to see it, it's there on okay i think all of it is fine we can press ok so software will save it right click property we have to adjust a little bit more now about the formula the important thing in a long bar quantity i want short side to be divided on center to center by doing that we will know how many long bar quantities we have 10 12 15 okay this is one and in short bar quantity we have long side divided on center to center okay here software will give us the quantity and if you want to have it round quantity always one extra so you can round up okay it will always give you extra uh, this is done so here i can ignore the takeoff so the first one is long bar quantity should multiply with the longer side now i can round both plus short bar quantity should multiply with the shorter side i can round both and all of it i can round fine whatever the sum comes it should multiply with this either we have one or two it should multiply with that and whatever the total quantity comes it should multiply with the bar weight so by doing that we will have the quantity in kg let's say you are working in tons so you can round all and divide it on thousand it will give you in tons it doesn't matter concept is same okay so it's all okay then press okay one more thing here we have to change into kg our formula is fine in the form that will be the view press ok now go to home tab now it's a time to test our template these are the templates which i have created you can find yours in test so activate this software will ask you the information dia bar weight you can choose accordingly center to center okay if it's on a both side okay short side 7.30 long side 11.04 once you done this all just one click and you can see the total result previously it was 19 24 same now so this is how one template can help you same way you can practice other box as well if there is another one you can try there as well i hope you understand the concept there could be a chances of mistake or maybe i missed something while explanation that's fine i hope you understand and learn how to create the template and if you really like the video don't forget to subscribe and share your feedback in the comment so that's it for today see you in the next video